Our Beacon Explorers program is a flagship program at Beacon Hills. I have a great passion for the outdoor education programs. I love trekking myself and have been in many parts of the world enjoying some of the best and worst times that uh, it can be. Jenka. My name's Sam Maddock and I'm head of the Beacon Explorers program at Beacon Hills College. Today you're in my office in Wurundjeri country in the upper Yarra Valley, halfway between Mount Donabuang and the Birrarung River. Not only is this my office, but this is the Beacon Explorer classroom where me and my team will bring your sons and daughters to have amazing learning experiences. We don't just run activities or camps, we come to places like this and we don't just see tracks and trails for riding bikes. I see a lesson in history to talk about this aqueduct trail and how it used to be Melbourne's first water supply. Also discuss indigenous history and what the Wurundjeri clan and mob used to do when they were on country many years ago. One of the key learning intentions of our Beacon Explorers programs is that students are technology free for the entire time they're away. They have no access to phones, computers, iPads and laptops and all the things that they normally have easily at their access and dispose when they're around home and in the school environment. This provides students with an opportunity to chat, to learn, to engage with the environment, other students and themselves without any of those distractions. A key example of this is our 24 hour solo program that happens on the Year 9 Great Southwest, where students are placed around a campsite, spread out away from each other and have 24 hours with no distractions, no technology, no interactions with each other. And they're forced just to think, contemplate and reflect. This is a truly unique experience that students often tell us is their favorite and most memorable part of their outdoor experience. Within the Beacon Explorers program, we have a number of service learning opportunities where our students get to experience different cultures and languages, both in Australia and overseas. These include our Indigenous education experience in Jabiru in Kakadu National Park, as well as visiting Timor-Leste and Vietnam. When our students and teachers visit these countries and cultures, they have amazing experiences and we like to engage with what, with what we call two-way learning not only does Beacon Hill students and teachers get to get a valuable and rich experience in culture and language and history from these countries that we visit, but Beacon Hills also tries to make a difference to the communities we visit by helping with educational resources, classroom building, or delivering solar buddies so that students can do their homework at night when they don't have any electricity in their community. At Beacon Hills College, we're extremely lucky to have access to these rich learning opportunities and wonderful environments to travel and explore through. Myself and the Beacon Explorers team look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors soon.